Hi, I'm Kenny Purvis, and today I'm going to be giving you some useful tips on how to prepare your mower for the spring season. Today we'll be doing some maintenance work. We're going to be changing the fuel filter, we're going to be changing the oil and oil filter, also the air filter and the spark plugs. We'll begin with the fuel filter. Fuel filters are usually very easy to get to. Uh, most of them have a pinch clamp. All you need is a pair of pliers to remove them. Simply press the clamps and slide them back. Also, always put a pan underneath your mower to catch any fuel that may leak. When installing the new fuel filter, most filters have an arrow that show you the direction of the fuel flow, but if it doesn't, you'll notice that one end of the filter is smaller than the other end. The fuel filter is positioned so that fuel enters on the small end of the filter and exit on the large end of the filter. Once the clamps are securely in place, we'll move on to changing the spark plugs. You'll need to consult your engine manual to get the proper spark plug. And at that point, you simply remove the rubber boot. Once you remove the old plug, when you begin to install a new plug, you need to check with your manual also and make sure that the air gap is set in the correct position. Uh, we have already regapped or pre-gapped these plugs so we know they're set at the proper setting. Now some engines are single cylinders and some engines are twin cylinders. Uh, this engine is a twin cylinder. Changing the plug on the other side, you use the same procedure. I'll be back in just a moment after this message from your friends at Rotary. Keep your lawnmower running longer and performing better with guaranteed quality parts from Rotary. A simple engine tune-up can increase fuel economy by one-third and decrease emissions by up to 50%. A proper tune-up will also extend the life of your engine and reduce unnecessary repair costs. For tune-ups, choose the Rotary brand for foam pre-filters and air filters. Our pre-filters are designed to increase the life of your engine by trapping dirt and debris before it enters your air filter. By helping to eliminate dirt particles that can enter the intake system, you can ensure the proper mix of air and fuel flows to the engine, which helps the engine burn gas cleanly and more efficiently. Rotary fuel filters help prevent stalling, poor starting, and potential engine failure. Remember, your engine will operate better and last longer when it receives clean gas. And with rotary fuel filters, you can improve the overall performance of your mower, including speed, power, and fuel efficiency, thanks to uniform fuel flow. Rotary also offers a wide assortment of high-performance spark plugs for faster starts and fewer misfires. When the electrodes wear out, the spark plug gap, which is the space the spark jumps between, begins to grow. This leads to reduced operating efficiency and can result in misfires. One more thing to consider is the disposal of used motor oil. Let's work together to keep our environment clean for future generations. This begins with properly disposing of any used oil. Many service stations, auto parts retailers, repair facilities, and quick loops will accept used oil and used oil filters. Let's all do our part to keep America clean and beautiful. At Rotary, we've been selling quality outdoor power equipment parts since 1957. Our parts are engineered, tested, and guaranteed to meet high quality standards for reliability and better performance. With over 9,000 parts, tools, and accessories, Rotary has just what you need. Choose Rotary because you can't get better equipment protection from any other leading brand. Whenever you uh, drain your oil, you look for the uh, drain plug on the base of your engine. Ours is located here. Yours may be a little more difficult to locate. We have a quick drain plug on ours. We can attach a piece of hose right here, run it straight down to the oil pan that we have in place, and simply twist this and drain the oil. Now if yours has a plug, it's the same process, just remove the plug and let the oil drain out. 
then be sure to replace the plug and tighten it to manufacturer specifications. Once your oil is drained out, be sure that you don't dispose of it in any way other than taking it to a qualified recycling center. Uh, next process will be changing the oil filter which is on the other side of the engine. Oil filters are uh, usually very easy to reach. You simply spin them off, uh, pull your drain pan over to catch any oil that may fall out. Your new filter uh, will have a dry seal on it. You can take just a touch of oil on your finger and smear around the filter uh, gasket surface just so that it'll seal uh, when you screw it onto the engine. Be sure to use high quality guaranteed parts from Rotary. Once your filter gasket surface mates, you'll turn about another eighth or quarter turn and that's all that's needed to seal that properly. Once your filter is securely in place, we'll install the oil. We'll have to move back to the other side. The oil will be poured in uh, in the top of your dipstick tube. Simply remove, remove the dipstick. Uh, consult your owner's manual as to the weight and quantity of oil that you will need and simply pour it in. Once you've poured your oil in, reinsert your dipstick, make sure it's bottomed, then remove it again. And on the end of the dipstick, you'll see uh, whether you need to add or if your crankcase is full. Now, we've only installed one quart of oil, so uh, we still need to fill a little bit here. Now I'm gonna show you how to install a pre-filter. Remember, always use guaranteed quality parts from Rotary. When installing the pre-filter, always consult your owner's manual. Uh, some manuals require that you uh, pre-oil the filter. An easy way to do that is leave it in the bag. Just pour a small amount of oil on the inside. That way you don't get it all over your hands. You kind of, kind of mash it around and it'll spread out through the filter. And now, okay, when replacing the filter, simply remove the cover. Place it out of the way. Uh, always check around the edge of the filter and make sure there's no debris that can fall into the engine. And carefully remove the filter and remove the pre-filter. When installing this filter, one side of the filter will have a screening on it. That screen will always go up towards the paper element on the filter. All right, we're ready to install the element now. Always remember to use high quality rotary parts. Now when installing this filter, you have, a, you have a seal around the top here that needs to be placed properly. Just take your time, make sure that's in position and simply replace the cover and you're ready to go. I'm Kenny Purvis and until next time, crank it up with rotary.